My people, these bass bros, bass bros, they don't get too much. Oh. Dr. Abel, Damina, don't come answer Papa Adeboye with another bass bro, bass bro. Any preaching where Adeboye don't do, eh? We can see the interpretation where Dr. Abel Damina give up. Make sure this Christian don't want to lie. No, only God will save us. My people, I've been able to watch this video. Leave your comment and share them because I just don't know what to say about it. My own, I make one just see what thing they happen. So we'll go get understanding. Guys, watch this video with me, please. This is today. The Holy Spirit is everywhere but in them. It's either in, it's in their bottle or the Holy Spirit is in a big comb where you come backward and come forward. Or the Holy Spirit is in a big stick, big walking stick. That when they turn the walking stick, any prayer request you say within five minutes will be answered. After five minutes, the walking stick has expired. Somebody says, but all this confrontation is not working in love. No, working in love is not a subscription to foolishness. We give people an answer. We give people a defense. Somebody says, if you don't pay your tithe, you will go to hell. You will not go to heaven full stop. Make it clear to them. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven full stop. We say no sir. No sir. No sir. No sir. The prerequisite for heaven is not tight. Somebody says well my prayer is that you make heaven at last. Apart from all the blessings of salvation the ultimate of it is to make heaven. Is to make heaven is to make heaven and we shall make it no sir we don't make heaven at last we are in heaven at first the moment you receive jesus you are seated together with christ in the heavenlies fight of faith is a fight to defend the gospel when somebody is misusing the bible abusing the bible you get out confront him and put the record straight you are fighting the good fight of faith you are defending the message you are defending the fidelity of scripture you are defending the rightly word of truth because once a scripture is misinterpreted a truth is lost and if you allow the misinterpretation of scripture you deny people the power that is in the word of god it must be properly accurately divided so in fighting the good fight of faith we are defending the message somebody said dr damina but why are you so full of combat why are you combative i thought the gospel is supposed to be good news yeah the gospel is good news but the gospel is also an offense It's good news but it has an offense that it carries with it and moreover brother jude said concerning the common salvation which was once delivered to the saint he says you must contend earnestly the word contend is the language of combat we combat falsehood we combat deception we combat the message of fear and bondage that is preached to believers we confront it we expose the unfruitful works of darkness and we ensure that that lie doesn't fly so that men are not deprived the rights and privileges that the resurrection of christ has done that's why in teaching the bible we do what we call apologetics a defense of the gospel brother peter says be ready to give every man that accept thee an answer first peter chapter 3 verse 15 look at it but sanctify the lord god in your hearts and be ready always that's why we're raising an army all over the blue marble planet men and women that are tutored in the gospel who will always be ready always to give an answer to every man that word answer is the word defense or the word apologia that's where we get the word apologetics from an answer to every man that accept you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and with fear we give people an answer we give people a defense 
somebody says if you don't pay your tithe you will go to hell you will not go to heaven full stop we say no sir no sir no sir no sir the prerequisite for heaven is not tight the prerequisite for heaven is jesus for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish not whoever pays tithe moreover tithe is not new testament tithe is not new testament in the new testament we have generosity we have generosity people give liberally people give generously people give cheerfully and people give with understanding in response to what god has already done to support the work of god to support the ministers of the gospel and they give generously to support brethren who are in need no manipulation no cajoling no intimidation that's legalistic that's the old testament and jesus fulfilled the demands of the old testament and took it out of the way for full details on tithe and tithing you can visit youtube just type tithe and tithing abel damina is part 1 to 15. you can go there watch the whole teaching and get the full exegesis and come to a clear understanding but we give a defense we give a reason of the hope and answer to every man somebody says well well my prayer is that you make heaven at last no sir we don't make heaven at last we are in heaven at first the moment you receive jesus you are seated together with christ in the heavenlies brother paul says our citizenship is in heaven right now it's not going to be in heaven so the believer is seated in heaven right now in christ jesus we defend the truth of the gospel we rightly divide the word of truth somebody says but all this confrontation is not working in love no working in love is not a subscription to foolishness because when it comes to the defense of the gospel love means i love the lord god first so my love for god will translate to my love for you all right my love for god will translate to my love for you because i love god and i honor his word i will rebuke you if you are mutilating the word of god that is how to walk in love walking in love is not some sentiments and emotions walking in love is to corroborate the word of god and stand on the side of god irrespective of whose ox is god and that is why we must be ready to give an answer of the hope that is in us